Now, let's say hi again to Shannon Morse, our newest staffer. <laughs> On I have to say, that's one weird. of the funniest things. Where don't, did that come from? Don't point from? that at me. Yeah. No, 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 no pictures. No pictures. <laughs> Miss Morse, is that, is it, that's not posing for pictures right now. So, Shannon, uh, you get to pick which ones you want to review, right? <laughs> yeah, because I'm that the kind first of one that works? gets to see Yeah. Oh, you open yeah. the boxes. Yep. Why did you decide you wanted to review this? Well, I was interested in it because um, it's one of the first LG phones that I've actually gotten to play with. Mm -hmm. And it looked really nice. It's very, very pretty and sleek. And I heard that it was very good. It was very fast and responsive. So I wanted to uh, prove it for myself and see if that was actually true. Now, you're talking to a guy who has a five and a half inch screen. How big is that <laughs> screen? Uh, this one is about 4.7 inches. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's huge. It looks certainly usable. Was it, if, now you're much more petite than I am, was it usable? I mean, was it all right? For my... My actual hands, no. It's no, not very it's usable big. for my hands because yeah. I, I got little hands. So right. when I compare this to the iPhone 5, the Which iPhone is much 5 narrower. is much more usable right. for, you know, my little girly hands. Right. But all in all, I got to say the 1280 by 720 uh, display that they have, it's full HD nice? IPS plus yeah. LCD. So it's really, really nice. And Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> now you just did the unlock gesture. This is an LG... Yeah. Special. They call it the what the dew drop? That's called the dew drop, yes. So the you, you press the unlock button and it it looks like a drop of water that expands to I think that's a sweet effect. Yeah, that's a really cool effect. But unfortunately if you care about security, you still have to have your uh, your pin code. I know, or your I never see there, any of those so. effects. So, so we don't get to see all the pretty special effects. All the manufacturers have their own customizations. That's why Google sells a Nexus phone so that you right. get a plain Google experience. How is the LG customization? Um, LG has really nice customization features in it. It comes with a little bit of bloatware as far as the applications go. That's from but Sprint. not much. Uh, probably, right? LG. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they have a few things built in as well. Okay. Um, but you can delete everything, so it's not really a big deal. Um, one of the things I wanted to t discuss today and focus on was the camera. Um, altogether, the phone is really nice, but when you click into the camera, I noticed that even though it's 13 megapixels, it's not really that great. Wait a minute, great. 13 megapixels? 13 megapixels. Wow. So you would think, oh, these pictures are going to be great. Well, the only thing weird about it is it, 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 it's not very accurate. It makes Father Robert look like Jason Howell. I don't understand <laughs> how that... Yeah, it took away yeah, my collar. So what's, what's going on here? What's happened here? That's crazy. <laughs> I think we had a little casting <laughs> switch there. Um, so you didn't like the image quality at it? Yeah, I didn't like the image quality that much. Um, I was trying to take pictures of my cat... I'll show you some of those. My, a little green looking. Yeah, my, my little kitty. And the color was a little off. Yeah. And you can change the color settings to auto or fluorescent, right. sunset, or whatever have you, what you have. But when I was trying to take pictures of them moving around and trying to focus, right. I would have issues with it suddenly blurring and then getting nice and static again. The so. iPhone 5 is your day-to-day -day phone? The iPhone 5 is my data. And despite phone. the fact that it's 8 megapixels compared to the 13, you like it better. The iPhone has better pictures. Yeah. yeah much yeah. better quality. It's not really the megapixels. It's There's a lot of other stuff that goes into making there the is. images. There yeah. is. Uh, videos are a lot better. I did take a video earlier today of Alex when we were out at our little breakfast. And other than the fact you. that there's a lot of lighting behind him, the sound quality you. is really nice. So the microphone is just great. And the speakers are just fine. Is it 1080p video? Yeah, it's 1080p oh. video. It's amazing. Yeah. We, when we got the, when we started doing Mac right, Break in 2007, we spent a hundred, oh, Alex spent over $100,000 for a 1080p video camera. Oh my gosh. That's five years ago. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'll spend like a hundred bucks This comes with the that. phone. Wow. <laughs> it can take panoramic uh, camera pictures as well, but right. those, it, it will, it bugged me so much because when I use my iPhone and take panoramic pictures, I can just go along and snap yeah. the picture. This one when you start taking the picture and you go around, go around, it goes, oh, you're going too fast. Right. Slow down. Slow down, like every two seconds. So you can't take a really good panoramic picture unless you're going at, like, you know, s the slowest speed ever possible. Right. It's really bad. Not as good as the iPhone. Another thing about the camera that really bugged me is this thing called um, voice cheese, cheese shutter. <laughs> it's the stupidest thing ever. <laughs> This is an LG specific thing. So, Wait a minute. It listens for you to say the word cheese? Yeah. So it says, to take a photo, say one of the following words. And you can say cheese, smile, whiskey, uh, kimchi, or LG. Say kimchi. Yeah. So and then when I'll you do, say, uh, they say, say kim. Okay, let's try it. Kimchi. 
So I can take a picture of you. <laughs> Say kimchi. There you go. So it takes a picture of you. You can do the same thing with cheese. 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 There it goes. I think you're supposed to say delayed. it. No, you say it. I say it? Yeah. Whiskey. Whiskey. There it goes. More whiskey. <laughs> Lots more whiskey. Okay. Huh. <laughs> That's interesting. It's so it does stupid. work. Wow. It's horribly dumb. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As far as the specs go, it's really lightweight. It's, it's only five ounces, so it's nice. It looks thin and yeah. light. It really it's does. Very it actually lightweight. looks beautiful. The design quality is gorgeous. It's a little square. It is a little square, but the rounded edges okay. take that away. So, okay. you know, it's nice. Yeah. And then the screen fits from all the way down here, all the way up here. So there's not a lot of extra space at the top and the bottom. Which also means that despite the fact that it's a 4.7-inch screen, it's not a giant phone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. they still were able to minimize it into a smaller uh, smaller space. Uh, five ounces, so decent size. Um, and it's made out of 50% recycled plastic. I thought that was kind of cool That's because they're trying to go very green with this. I see even, even the Sprint the packaging, packaging is, uh, is green. recycled It's uh, paper. made out of recycled yeah. and soy ink. Too. Oh, that's neat. So I was like, oh, okay, that's really cool for anybody who wants to go very green with it. How about um, battery life? What kind of battery life were you getting? About 13 hours or well, so. that's good. Yeah, so it has a 2100 milliamp per hour Pretty big uh, for battery. a phone that size. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I was able to use it over the weekend when I went down to L.A. for Thanksgiving, and it worked just fine. I was able to, you know, pull up Twitter and Facebook and all those social networks and just go nuts on them for the whole day, and I had no problem. <laughs> I was able to thing, surf by the for way. Black Friday. Forget turkey. I'm taking pictures. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> tweeting. I noticed something cool, too. I don't know if this happens on all LG phones or just this one in particular, but uh, when I pull up something like Facebook that has a lot of information on it on the news feed, uh -huh. I can scroll down with just a little tap, or I can go really fast, and it seems to change the speed depending on oh, how fast that. you're moving Yeah, ballistic here. scrolling. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's very nice. It's a little feature, but I found it to be really useful, especially on Twitter and Facebook. Is this an LTE phone? Yes, it is. It's LTE. Would you echo Robert's thoughts that Sprint LTE is not quite I yet would. ready for prime time? So when I was driving down I-5 in horrible, horrible traffic, and I was trying to watch and podcasts. And you, you weren't streaming. driving. Somebody no. else was driving. Uh, my fiance okay. was driving. Good. It was right. okay. Yeah, I yeah. was not yeah. driving, so right. I was in the passenger seat. Um, I was comparing the service between my iPhone on ATE, or AT&T LTE and then the Sprint LTE. And I got to say, surprisingly, AT&T was showing me LTE 4 gig 4G bars whenever this was completely out of service. Right. And I wasn't able to get any kind of data Sprint's on it. way behind on their LTE rollout, but they're doing it as is. fast as they can. But Again, it's early, but you're buying the phone for what it could do today, not what yeah. it might be able to do in months to come. So This is a really fast phone. It's got a 1.5 gigahertz processor. Dual so, core? Yep. Oh. Or, yeah. Quad core. Quad core. Quad core uh, Snapdragon. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. So really, really fast. It's very nice and very quick. And it has Android 4.0 uh, ice cream sandwich. 4.0, not 4.1. Yeah. Not That's yet. a little bit of a disappointment. They do say that it's going to be updated in the next couple of months. So yeah, yeah. That's you what hear LG it, uh, is saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's another reason why people go with a Nexus because they want the late, they want jelly bean. They don't want to go, go with ice cream sandwich. That's true. That's yeah. true. So, um, also, Actually, not it even has Jelly Bean. It's Jelly Bean 4 2. Yeah. It has 24 gigs uh, internal storage, but there's wow. no micro SD card slot. Okay, so that's all you're going to get. Yeah, that's all you're going to get. And what you see is what you get. And um, also, it has NFC already in it. And it does come with an NFC tag for the Sprint one. Removable battery? Uh, no removable battery. That's why they get it so thin because yeah. you're stuck mm -hmm. with that. And that's why no SD this. card. You can't yep. take it apart. And the back. Even though it's really pretty and really shiny, and it has this very cool design to it, fingerprint. It picks up so <laughs> many fingerprints. I, I can mean, see that from here. Look at that. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, when I when I looked at this, I was just like, oh god, I, that's one reason why I wouldn't choose this phone particularly because of that design, right. that little flaw. Even though it's gorgeous. It's well, pretty. also no expandability uh, yeah. and some limitations. So. Buy, try, don't buy. I'm going to give it a try. Um, so the pros and cons real quick. Those would be it's very fast and powerful, so it's really quick. It's got pretty good video. The camera quality on still photos is horrible. Video is pretty good. That's too bad. Yeah. It's got some nice social features with, like, the scrolling, and it has this thing called the Social Plus Favorites. So you can add your friends here and look up just them. That's an uh, LG specific. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. LG specific. And it also has a beautiful screen. I mean, that's a great resolution. I do like the screen. Is that yeah. LCD IPS? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. It's IPS. IPS. So it's very pretty. And the cons, of course, the still photos, 
picks up a lot of dust and handprints and <laughs> any kind of moisture, any kind of dirt, and the service with Sprint, of course. Right. Um, it costs about 200 bucks if you buy it on contract or $500 without the contract, and I give it a try. I would say that if you're a Sprint customer and you want to stay with Sprint and you're going to get a new phone, do get an LTE do get, phone. Yeah, definitely of do some get kind, an LTE because phone. Because you're going to want to be ready sort. for that network. Definitely. Yeah. And it's much better than the old Clearwire. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. <laughs>